Sweet potatoes are a staple in most parts of Uganda. In fact, Uganda is the leading producer of sweet potatoes in Africa and ranks highly globally. <laughs> Makerere University Science have spent eight years developing new varieties to improve food security in the country and most of the research has been undertaken at Makerere University's Agricultural Research Institute at Kabanyoro in Wakiso District. This is the tissue culture laboratory implementing the research. They started experimenting on 5,000 sweet potato varieties eight years ago. These were screened to 20 through scientific procedures in a process that lasted seven years. They currently have 11 varieties from which the final five will be selected. It is these five varieties that will be named and allowed by government to be rolled out to farmers. These are the scientists that have been at the helm of the research. In the laboratory, the tissues are treated to resist pests and diseases, drought, and to mature fast. Dr. Setumba Mukasa says sweet potatoes are rich in nutrients and help in alleviating food insecurity. It is very rich in, in starch. Two, it is also rich in sugars. Of course, the starch can also be converted into sugars. The soil is rich in what? In sugars. Okay. Uh, but it is also rich in, in fiber. You know, Fiber is, is never digested, but it is very useful to, for our stomach. Eh? So if you eat foods with a good fiber, then the system works uh, quite okay. Most popular varieties developed by Ugandan scientists include Samanda, Dimbuka, the Nasport 1 to 14 series, and the KSP series. Some of these varieties have been developed with large quantities of vitamins to help reduce malnutrition, especially in children. The vitamin A like the one you find in uh, in, in carrot, eh? it, it's, it's, it's very uh, known for uh, improving sight, although my sight is not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's also known for boosting your immune system. Okay, it's also known for uh, to be a suppressant for, uh, for 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 cancer because it's also an, an antioxidant. Sweet potatoes can be used to make biscuits, juice, and confectionery. They can also be churned into high-quality starch for thickening soups. From the laboratory, the young plants are taken to a greenhouse where they are grown in controlled conditions. From here, the stems are given out to breeders dotted around the country who plant them in the fields and sell the stems to farmers. The breeders sell a sack of sweet potato stems at 15,000 shillings. Dr. Setumba Mukasa says one should take note of the color of the tuber before buying since color always communicates the ingredients in the sweet potato. Especially the orange fish is associated with the vitamin A I mentioned already. Mm. Uh, the purple is associated with some anthocyanins which are known to suppress, which are known to act more like, like, also like antioxidants. Yeah. Uh, in, in some other countries the purple is, is extracted and makes a, a very good food color yeah. if, if you like to a cake which is iced ice in sugar mm. adding some purple and to look beautiful so okay. so instead of feeding on uh, artificial food colors this is more of a natural great kind of food color sweet potatoes mature within four months and can be grown all year round in areas like Mbale in eastern Uganda this means they are important in promoting food security. Tia Basatumba Abu Bakar, NBS Television, Sunset.